and we'll see what's out for tonight. I don't have any big names out this week. Okay, let's see. Okay, just wait 10 cents spread on this. You should have sound. I'm talking. If you don't, I, I can't I can't write and trade at the same time. <clears throat> I'm not talking. Okay, just just wait, everybody. No one should be doing anything. I haven't called a trade. I haven't done a trade. I haven't done anything. This is rallying. And it might retest 19. So let's say if this goes over 19, though, I'm not doing it. And then and, and, and I'll look at something else. But. Also, it seems very spready here all of a sudden. Okay, we're going to do, stop's going to be 1910 if this hits. Bigger than I thought. Oh, just wait. Uh, wow, this is trading really weird. I don't have the entry yet. The stop's going to be 1910, but now it's Chimungus. So just wait. Let's see if we can get a better entry. That probably was it. It retested basically 19. But I'm not in it yet because it's a Chimungus stop right now. Okay, let's do... 50 by 90, 50 by 90, 50 by 90, SSYS short. If you don't know what you're doing, you should be doing anything. 50 by 90. Let's see if this holds. Wow, is it just me or is this trading weird? Is it just me or is it trading really weird? Like it looks like it's moving, but it's not then. Is that what this is doing, or is it just my charts? Wow, don't don't anyone take this yet. It hasn't hit, and it all of a sudden looks really weird. Like it looks like it wasn't moving there. Is that me, or is this the stop? Quick, somebody tell me right now. No, nobody should be in this yet. Here, let's move over to Tiva. Let's move over to Tiva. Screw that. Forget it. Let's do 19 by 60 Tiva. 19 by 60 Tiva if this hits is a continuation gap. That was it acting not right. 19 by 60 Tiva. Take it, take it. This is it. 60, 60. 
Okay, this is going to hit. Vienna, Vienna, Vienna. Vienna, Vienna, Vienna. Here, let's put the stop. Yeah, 60, 60. 39, 60. That was it. This is it. We're doing this. Forget the other one. Da, 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 da. We have to make money today. Screw this thing. Good, we didn't do it. Just follow me. Here. I have no targets for this. This is totally on the fly. Uh, da, 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 da. Let it break 39. I have no targets for this at all. Wow. Hold on. 30. Oh, geez. This could go to 38. Do we dare? Hold on. Let me look at the market. It's not too late to take it either. Hold on. It has a dollar to go. And the market isn't doing anything right again today. It That is amazing. We'll go over that when we're done. Here. Nice call. Here. Oh, gosh. Boy. And I thought I needed another cup of coffee. 38.60 is the first target. 38.60, we're at a half, just for so. 38, though, is the target on this. And the market isn't green anymore for some reason. Here, if you want to shave a little off here, you can, but I think we get it down to 38.60. Wow, I'm so glad I got off of that. I knew something wasn't right. Something wasn't right. Here, this is a nice trade. Man, I could be away from the market for... 365 days and come back and just hit it. Here, 38.60. Here! Okay, you get better over time. Maybe by the time I'm 55, I'll never take a loss. Here, come on, Tiva. Okay, you could take a little sum off there if you want. I'm not going to, but you could. Market, market doesn't make any sense. No one should be doing anything here with this right now. What happened with the DKS? The DKS I'm not doing, but this looks like this is going to roll over. I'm not doing it because I'm not doing two things, but if you want to do this, you could. You can short this right here. It's not even too late. Put the stop at 57.60. Give it a big cushion in here. I'm not doing that because I'm already in the other one. What happened with this? Look, this did actually sit up. And, oh, this, I didn't like the way it was acting. This is going, though. I got off of it. We did the other one. This is much, much better because it's moving. And you could be out of it right there if you wanted to, but I think we get more out of this. Here, let's just double check this thought. Okay, one more push down and team and we'll take it because maybe the market will hold. I don't know. It's, it's just so, the market hasn't done anything right. It, it really hasn't done anything right lately. If you did this though, I think it was a way bigger stop than I ever anticipated, but it's rolling over. 18 bucks, 18 bucks, this is going to get there. Did anyone do the SSYS? You would have had to take it on a different entry by yourself. I decided to do this. We got it at the right time. Here we go. This is going to break down one more time. Well, maybe 38.60 is the target if the market holds. Maybe we shouldn't be a piggy. Here, the market's trying. Look at everything. All right, here we are. You can put the stop at break even if you want. I'm just leaving it, but you could. This could even break 38 today. This is very weak, people. This is very, very weak. But, you know, it's I 
Okay, I'm staying with it. But if you if you didn't do it, or if you want to take more, I'm going to give another entry. It's still fine, but it had a big move up. Okay, if you got out of it and want to retake it, or if you didn't do it, or if you want to take more, uh, you have lots of choices here. I'm going to give you another entry. And then we're all going to lower the stock. I forgot how wild these farmers are. This is still okay, people, but it's really rallied back a lot. All right, so if you want to take more, you can. Nine by 50, and we're all going to lower the stock to 50 then. Nine by 50 if you want to take a new entry or if you didn't do it or, or if you want to take more. I thought this would continue right in here. It didn't, but it's still okay. I forgot how wild these things are. Boy, this is really going to roll over now. Here, here it is. There's your other entry. We're still in it. It was still okay. It was really perfectly fine, but it really did rally back a lot. I didn't even look at the data today. And of course, the market is trying to hold itself for once in its life. Will it? Who knows? Whatever happened with this? Did anyone do this? This went. This went to 18. You should be out. Did anyone do the SSYS? I ended up flipping to the Tiva. This went. It worked. One more push in this through the low of the day, and I'm taking it. Probably will go right to the 3860. Time of the day is 942. Dubai said SSYS. I'd be out of at least. 75% of that. Looks good though. Went to eight, it went to the target. It went, it went, it went. Big fudge, I don't know what you're talking about. If you're in this and you're in that, you shouldn't be down anything. What are you down in? Or you didn't take it. I'm confused what you meant. Some of you don't understand what you write. If you did both of these in here, you shouldn't be down any money. So I don't know what you mean. All right, here we go through the low. 38.80 something it was, pretty sure. And this one here, which was basically $39. Big Fudge, what are you talking about? You're going to lose another $800. Both these trades are green. What do you mean? Write it in the room. We're not doing anything else today. 
Let's just see what uh, DKS did. Wow, DKS went there. I just quickly called that out of nowhere. What about this? Did anybody do that? Wow, that thing rolled over. What do you mean nothing? You wrote that you're going to lose another $800 and I just called two good trades. I want to know what you're talking about. What are you doing? Are you doing things that I'm not calling? What you wrote doesn't make any sense. Did anyone do the DKS? Jeez, we had time to do that. Quick it out for scalp and wait for this forever. Yeah, we should have done we should have done this while we were waiting for this. I just didn't think that this would take this long. Here, Kiva. Here it goes. Tiva. Under 39, we should just roll right under the low of the day. And this is it. Then we're just taking it. I'm not holding this to 38 because the market looks like it's trying to hold. I market hasn't done anything right since the election. Here, Tiva. Here we go, 38.68, hand on the button here, wherever it goes and it drops, under the low, but try to hold it through the break of the low. And I'm just gonna take the whole thing, but you could've got out half there, could've got the whole thing there, you could've added, you could've done a million things with this. I hope nobody killed it. I don't know if that's what you did, Big Fudge, but you're not telling me what you did, so something doesn't make sense. Gosh, everything ended up working, DKS worked, Tiva worked, SSYS worked. We'll go over them all when we're done. There was a lot today and they were all shorts and look at the market. I guess things are situating themselves. Finally here, Tiva. Let's not miss this because it was a little jumpy. Time of the day is Okay, well, we'll see this market. Look, just here. The, the spy looks so different from the QQQs. Here, we're going to get this down under the low between now and 10 o'clock, between now and 10. I feel so sure this is going to 38, but I probably should have gotten out of half of it down in there just to just to get green something because then we could have we could have done a quick something anything a DKS but here here we go Tiva here here it is 38.84 let it go through the break 38.60 38.60 you can put an order out there if you want to but here 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 want to have things to do here here it is here I hope no one killed it Oh man, look at this. This is gonna to go to 38 though. <laughs> I can't hold it. Here, here it goes. Do, 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 do. There it is. Hand on the button though. In fact, I'm not letting it get over 75. There, I'm out, I'm out. I'm not letting it get over 75. I'm just not doing it. I'm just not doing it. And it hit 67, but you can do whatever you want. That's it. I don't have any more patience. It's 948, but it looks great. It's probably going to go to 38. It's probably going to do everything right. I'm done. I'm done. So that's it. All right. Let's see everything else. You can stay in that for longer if you want. I would get out of at least half, though. All right. Let's go over everything. Uh, let's go over... Here, let me just see what's out for tonight. I just want to see if there's anything good. And then I'll go over big fudge about his about the DKS. I'll go over everything from everyone. Just let me see if there's anything that has anything to do with being excited about tonight. Because Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, I don't see anything big name out tonight. I mean, there's stuff, but I don't see any, just no namers. Lowe's is tomorrow morning. Target, all right, let's look at those. Tomorrow morning is the retailers. Let's look at those quick. 
Target. This is tomorrow morning, though, not tonight. This is what this says, but we'll watch it tomorrow morning. Target. Low. Give me two minutes here and we'll go over everything. Oh, this kept down today. I don't know what these things do. Considering the market, they don't look that great. All right, let's, um, you could still be in the DKS. We'll go over that in a minute. This went past the target, was excellent. It still looks like it could keep going. And the Tiva, the Tiva's still going. Wow, look, see, of course, I have no patience anymore after the rally, but it's fine. Look, this is really gonna get to 38 now because it broke the 38.60. So you should have been out of the whole thing here like me or half or 75%. You could have, what you could have done is get out of something and then put the stop really over 39. Is anyone still in this? It's still going. This will get to 38 bucks today. Wow, if it gets to 38 bucks, it could even go farther. Who's in what? Bob's still in half a Tiva. Good job. Anybody else? Anybody in anything at all? Do Bob help SYS all the way down to whatchamacallit? 1775? All right, let's go over this. This gap I like the best of any of them. And it never triggered. So no one should have been in it, but it was, it had a delay. It had a delay on both of my things, uh, platforms. It, it was moving, but it didn't look like it was because it was so slow. It had the volume. I got put off by that. I was put off by that and said, screw it. And I flipped to the other one. Anyways, this did set up. It did hold. This counts as a hold for 19, even though it's at 1910. You could have shorted this here, 84 by 20. And that wasn't a bad stop. It wasn't small though. Anyways, 84 by 20 dropped in here. See how people are trying to pick it up and go long it, but it's a short. How do I know the gap rating? It was a good rated gap. Did this little doohickey here, and then it broke, and then it just rolled right over. Look, 1764. What did I say the number in this today? Don't tell me, because I forget myself. 1755, $17. And there you have it. 1755, 1750. Looks like it's going to get there. This was a good short. This is... This was good. I didn't like the way it was acting. I lost patience. It doesn't matter. Some of you did it. it here it's going. Here it's going to get to 1750. Wow. Nice sell off. This probably will be the biggest mover of any of them for risk to reward wherever this goes because this has just almost gone two bucks if it goes all the way down to 16 something, which it very well could. I don't think this. Does anything right the rest of the day? This may not even rally in the 15-minute chart. This thing is dead on arrival. I knew it was a good gap, but I just didn't have the patience. Anyways, this was a big stop. DKS, I called it, but for some reason, well, no, not for some reason. I was ready on the other thing, so I wasn't going to do two. Big fudge, I'd like to know why you were down money in this before you got money paid. I have no idea what you did. I don't know. My guess is here that you took a trade in here that I didn't call and that didn't set up right. You can tell me if you want to. If you don't want to, fine. But you should have never been down. If you shorted the stock anywhere from where it triggered, you shouldn't have been down a dime. My guess is that you did something in here you shouldn't have done, got stopped out here, and then took it when I called it here. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to tell me, but you should never have been down any money in this. It's set up and it rolled right over. Same thing with SSYS. I'm preempting these and calling them, but if they don't hit the numbers, you can't take them. Some of you were taking them and just think, and, I didn't, and they don't even hit if I like it, you can't take it till it hits because it could hit 75 cents away or it could completely not even hit. You must be so careful. To lose 800 bucks when the stock rolls over, $3 is sad. No, you did not take my call. If you took this trade, you did not lose any money. No way. Did anybody else do this besides Big Fudge? You're not doing something right. And I'm trying to help you, but 
You shouldn't be down to anything shorting here. In fact, I saw this late. I think I said to put the stop at 57.60. So no matter what you did, you, you would never have been stopped out. Is that what I said to stop? I think it was 57.60 and never hit the number. So wherever you shorted it, you would have never been stopped out. Jail did Tiva in and out a couple of times. That's fine. For some of you that are new, if you want to scalp, I don't have a problem with that. Some of you should scalp. Some of you, as soon as I call something, it immediately goes, you're up money. You should, some of, all of you that are new, you, should, you can almost take it all out immediately. You can take it out, take it out, retake it again. Take it in and out, in and out, in and out. Those of you that are used to losing and all of a sudden now are here and you're making money, if you're scared when it starts to back up, which some of you probably were because it's digging through the price. If you, I'm glad I didn't lower the stock to break even, which it didn't. But some of you, just take it out. If, if, if some of you, the confidence is more important than anything else than even the bigger target because you're just used to losing. So I think it's very important for the new people or people that have no concept of what it's like to make money on a regular basis. Get out when you're up as soon as it goes. I don't care how much it is. The, if the emotional weight of suffering a loss for some of you is too good, too great. And, and these things, when I call them, they just collapse. And so whether it's two bars or three bars or four bars or 10, if you're up, I would take it out for those of you that really have to work on your self-confidence. What happened to BTER? This even worked. Wow. What's terrifying? <laughs> What's terrifying? I'll tell you what's terrifying. Terrifying is trying to get to your salon, which is on Fifth Avenue, right next to Trump Tower. <laughs> and there's protesters. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> that is terrifying. Knowing that you may never be able to go to Fifth Avenue again. That's terrifying. <laughs> they might mistake you for Melania. I, I I wish, except for the fact that I'm not five foot ten and weigh a hundred pounds. I wish. I wish they'd mistake me for Melania. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's something else I was gonna say and I forget what. What a week. Um, okay, here. Let's go over this. This was the one I did. This is a good one. I did it in the fly. It worked. I held it. It went to the number, went past the number. You could still be in it. But why? It's 957. It's a rainy day. Market looks like crap. We'll go over in a second. 30 cents for the target. So anyways, here we did it. Here it went. Then it did this guy here, which looked crappy. I said, it's still good. It's still good. It's still good. Then I said, you could take more here. You could have even taken more here. And then it all the way went down. I said, that's it. I'm not letting it go over 75, which it did only a couple pennies. Then it went. Then it broke. It's almost 10 o'clock. You got to be out. It is terrifying for me. The protesters don't care how tall I am. I don't think the protesters care about anything. <laughs> I'm wondering if the protesters realize that it doesn't matter what they do. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing to have protests for a day or two. It's been going on for a week. What if you had a business that was on Fifth Avenue and no one can come and you don't make any money for a week? I mean, that is the case. I mean, people cannot go to the businesses on Fifth Avenue. Really. And it's the Thanksgiving week next week. I don't know how many people come for Thanksgiving, a half a million. Half a million people come to New York starting Friday, Saturday for the for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I don't know if they'll stop before then, but at least haven't been able to get a hold of it. If you stayed in and it was 80 cents, you made 60 cents on it. Yeah, big whoop. It's better off if you just get out. Watching Tita get close to the stop is terrifying. All right, let's go over it again. Here's where the stop was. Here's where it rallied. It wasn't close to it. It was 25 cents away. Close to it is at retesting the high of the day which is kind of what this one here did, even though this was weird looking here, this 
is 57.43. This is 57.37. This might be paraffine. I think that's what Big Fudge was involved with. And maybe I'm guessing what Big Fudge did is kill it because it never took out the stop. But the bottom line is that this, I can understand where you'd be sweating a bullet. Look at how this is flipping now, too. Look at that. This over here, not so much. JL loves Big Fudge's name. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm glad. Share with me what you did, how much money you made, everything you're doing. Let's look at the market. So this was a crazy week last week. Nothing seemed to make any sense except for the fact that the market rallied the day after the election, but then when it gapped up and collapsed, that made no sense. And who knows? I mean, I think you could have actually taken, you know, the whole week off last week. I mean, there was a lot of good gaps and a lot of volatility in the market. But this was, you would have never been able to predict this. Not in a million years. There would be no reason to short the market. But if you did, it, it ran down quite a lot. Um, it still wasn't a short, really, on the, on the overall chart. And then, then the market really didn't go anywhere with the holiday, with the Veterans Day. and was quiet on the Friday and quiet on the Monday. Today, we're trying to pick ourselves up again. But I got to tell you, this is a big, fat red bar that I wouldn't go immediately long back into. I mean, looking at this yesterday and this morning, I thought, well, we could rally today, maybe. But this is a monster bar here. And I'm not saying we don't get through it, but I'm saying don't just run out and buy everything that looks strong right now. This, this doesn't look that great, okay? And we're still higher and we still want to make a new high before the end of the year but when next week on thanksgiving when everyone's off i don't i don't know i don't know why this happened it doesn't make any sense i wouldn't have shorted it you couldn't have gone long you could have gone long here but again i wouldn't go long a gap down but you could have but this thing here the way that we acted and we're trying to pick ourselves up but i i don't like this bar here i mean I, I would, this is a bar that I would need confirmation to go long back into. I mean, it looks like we're trying to do something here today, but I don't, I don't feel 100% conviction in, in that until we situate ourselves back again. The spine looks much, much stronger than the queue. It has for a long time, except for this period in here and then the drop off, but it's looked stronger all along and now it looks really good. We never had that full on sell off as much as we did because we closed very strong then on the day after the, the, it was a Thursday. It was a Thursday here this day happened. Not the day after election, but the Thursday. I mean, we're, we're really very close to making new highs in the SPY, but we're not going to do it without the Qs, and we've talked about that before. So everything I looked at yesterday looked so awful. I mean, some of these things are trying to turn around, but they really look like crap. I mean, they really don't look good at all. I mean, even VABA actually came down and broke the low of the gap that happened on the day of the earnings, and not by a little bit, by a lot. Low was 91.26 yesterday, 87.88. I mean, you know, look at how things have sold off. And this is before the election, too, people, by the way. I said this is the earnings failure of the gap left that was all the way up here, and then it collapsed. I mean, these, you know, none of these things look great. And I know people love to buy support, and they may very well turn around. But remember, you're buying gaps. You're buying gap ups, and you're shorting gap downs, and that's all that you do, and that's all that we're going to do right now. But this does not, these things don't look good. I mean, I don't know what to say. So if all the stocks look crappy, even though there's still an uptrend, you can't run out and start buying everything. Ooh, this backed up a lot. Here, did everybody get out of this or what? This probably still holds. It holds the high of the day. But again, you have to get in and get out. 10 o'clock. What was the other one I was going to look at? Amazon. Does anyone want to go over anything at all? Ask me now. If not, we're done. We had a nice, solid morning. You could have done anything I called. Everyone should be up. Matthew has some questions. Let me go back and look at them. This really looks like crap. It's fallen more than 100 points from the high. Look at that. I mean... Look, Amazon was at 8.47, fell all the way down, 140 points within a month. And again, you would have never shorted that. Matthew's question is, if you want a referral to a broker, I can email you, but I don't have a Forex broker. I don't, I don't trade Forex, so I can't refer you to a Forex broker. I can only refer you to a stock broker. For U.S. stocks, 
you can email me and I'll refer you to a broker. Um, or a few if you want to check them out. You can't really use my gap method for Forex because it only has one gap a week because it only closes once a week. Um, You're happy you made money. Thanks, Melissa. You're welcome. Okay, yeah. Then if you want to email me, I'll send you a referral for a stock broker for stock. How's everybody doing? You're looking to shy away from Forex? I've never traded it myself, and I know it's very highly leveraged, and you got to be really careful. So... But you got to be careful no matter what you do. There's nothing that you. There's nothing that you don't do that you don't have to be careful or can't be careful. You have to be careful with everything. That's why I only want to do one trade a day. All right. Good job, everyone. I hope everyone's good. Tomorrow, I have no idea what we're going to get. Bob with the question. Um, between earnings announcements coming out after the close or before the open, generally speaking, which do you prefer? After the close where the market has more time to digest the news or before the open where there is less timing for digesting the news before trading starts at 9.30 a.m.? That is a long question. Um, I don't have a preference. There's your answer. It doesn't make a difference to me if something gaps at night or in the morning, because if something gaps in the morning and it's an earnings gap, it happens way before nine o'clock or way before 9.30. In a blue, blue moon, sometimes a, uh, a stock will have an earnings report or gap between nine and 9.30. The chances of me doing them are slim to none because I've probably prepared something I already liked before nine. Unless it's a time where it's very slow and I'm still scanning or don't have anything to look at, I'll keep scanning and try to find something before 9.30. I have 30 minutes to, to rate the gap. But if I haven't found a gap to train by 9 and something then gaps at 9 or 9.30, the chances are that even if it gaps, even if I have time to rate it, it won't have the volume. So the chances are I'm not doing it. So if I get up in the morning at 6, 7, 8 a.m. I have more than enough time to see everything that reports or any gap that would happen that would be news related that would be brand brand new on that live day. Forget about the night before and obviously the night before ones. So to me it doesn't matter. The late late gaps I don't usually do because they don't they weren't going to get the volume. <laughs> They're not going to get the volume and I do like time to prepare although 30 minutes is sufficient. I'm, I'm usually not going to wait until nine to choose what to trade. So usually I've found something, I like it, I decide this is it, I'm going to do it, and then I'm really not going to probably change my line unless something just falls out of the sky and it looks so great it would be silly not to take it and would have volume. But that is, I can't tell you the last time that's ever happened. So the answer is I don't have a preference. Sometimes I'll like a stock where I feel 100% conviction that it will gap down and it's something that reports at night. And then I do watch it because I think, oh, I like this one. Like, say it's J.C. Penny, and I'm like, oh, I really like this. I think this is going to be a good one. And then it gets down, and then I get excited, and I read it at night, and I'm ready to go in the morning, and then I do it. That doesn't happen all that time either. And actually, it happens less and less because I don't have time to watch stuff at night because I'm busy doing other things. But every once in a while, like, I'll look at the things like we looked at tonight. Like, if I had light target or lows, maybe I'd watch a report. Maybe I'd prep for the morning, but I'm not in love with either one of those charts. If they gap down, I'll rate it. If they gap up, I'll rate it. But I, it's not like I'm usually watching stuff at night unless I really like something and I want a good play and I feel like I'm excited about it. <laughs> but even then, I'll still watch in the morning to see what we get this noon case or something better. So I don't have a preference. And what about morning's announcements that have conference calls during the trading hours that can move the stock? I've never been caught in anything like that. When I've seen it, I've told some people about it. If it gaps down for whatever reason and we're in and we're out of it, usually those calls happen later. So I've never got caught in one. Usually the calls happen after 10 o'clock. So it's never happened that I've been caught in one, but that's certainly something that you could look at and watch so it doesn't happen to you, yes. 
No, it doesn't cause any concerns because I'm usually in and out of a trade so quickly. I do look to see if the call happened or not. If it, if it didn't, then you check the time. It doesn't mean you, you can't trade it or rate it. If you're worried about that, then do another one. But usually we're in these, as you see, and out by 10 o'clock, and usually the calls are after 10, so it doesn't matter. Okay, good. Wonderful day. I'll see everyone tomorrow. I'm here the rest of the week, back in the groove of things, trying to get caught up. We'll email some of you today. If some of you are interested in the private mentoring, email me. For those of you that did, I'll email you back. I'm way behind with emails, but I'm here today. It's pouring down rainy. I'm not going out. And don't do anything else the rest of the day.